How do you distinguish yourself and your positions from your rivals in the primary campaign? It's another you know, fundamental aspect of this campaign. Everyone running I have great respect for. They've done a lot in the community. They genuinely care about the issues that we face on the Upper West Side and in the city council. Um, I think what's, what's a little different is the energy and hard work that I'm trying to really bring to this campaign. Um, all five of them you know, have done a lot in the community. But right now, I think it's just time for new leadership and a different perspective. And as someone who, you know, on the business side, has been able to help small businesses expand and see how hard it is for them and the fines and the violations and the bureaucracy, having reopened the Russian Tea Room at a time where so many other iconic places are closing in our city, been involved in so many nonprofits that are related to some of these public policy issues that we face, whether it's New York Needs You and mentoring first-generation students or the Culinary Council, the Food Bank, and hunger issues around the city. All of these sectors, I think, are important. And I think we need people who understand how government works. You know, and I went to the Kennedy School. I, you know, worked, you know, for John Kerry's campaign. So I understand politics, who understand business, and who understand nonprofits. And realize that at a time of such transformative change, with the mayor and half the city council and whole city government really turning over, it's time to have leaders who understand that we have to take all three of these sectors together to solve the big problems that we face as a community. And I think I bring that expertise and a level of energy and hard work and, and diligence that, that sets me apart from everybody else. 